What's up, everyone? I'm going to let you know my top five things I'm drinking right now, spring 2023 edition. All right, Grease, we did this a few uh, months back. I think it was last year. Yeah, it was really great. We talked about, like, instead of what are your favorite things, like, what are the five things you pull in right now? If you're going for a pour... What are you drinking? Right. What's in your what? What's it? Uh, what I like to say is what's in my kitchen cabinet. Oh, that's a good way to put it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. What's in your What's in your kitchen cabinet? This is what I'm drinking right now. This is what's in my kitchen cabinet. This is when I'm going for a pour of something. It's what I'm going to. It's not necessarily my favorite stuff. It's just what I see myself congregating to. First thing, I've been drinking a lot of this. Been making some old fashions with it, but it's Rittenhouse Rye. Oh yeah, bottled in bond, old standby, thirty something dollars. Always good, but that's my first one. Yeah. No, that's a really great first one. Honestly, I can't find it a lot anymore. Yeah, I mean... It comes and goes. Like good things, they tend to be harder to find um, every once in a while, but most stores That used to be the go-to cocktail rye, Yeah, because, I mean, I drink it straight, too, but, I mean, like, great cocktail... Uh, rye pour for that. I love it. So I've I left it for a long time, but I've been I've been congregating back to it. Okay. What's your second one, Will? This is one. Now I've been drinking single barrel picks, but there's always a lot of single barrel picks out there that you can find, and that is New Riff single barrel bourbon cast strength. I hadn't drank a lot of New Riff for a long time because so many of them came out around the same time. A lot of people picked them. I had a lot of friends. This one's actually from our buddy Ty Gallenbeck. I just finished one from our buddy Troy. I love these. I sometimes get a really good coconut note on yep. them that I really like, a little bit tropical, but new riff single barrels. No I don't know if they're still there. doing them though, but you could get a quarter, half, full barrel. Yeah, you so a lot of barrel, whole barrel clubs and community communities, local communities and stuff could go in and get a barrel. And honestly, it's for the good because yeah. we've gotten some really great new riff picks from that. Yeah, and, and they're they're good whiskey. They've done a really good job with the program. Um, like I said, just it, it kind of got flooded. The market got flooded with it for a while that I, I wasn't drinking them as much. And I've come back around to it, and I see myself pouring a nightcap of that quite often. So I'm excited that it's back in my rotation. But it's something if you haven't had for a while, you should check it out again. This next one is a little different. Um but we've been seeing these are single barrel picks, but there was a lot that kind of hit the market at the same time. So um, I've seen them quite around. You you could find it. But these are Dry Fly Distilling's specialty barrel. And this is a straight wheat whiskey, not a straight bourbon, but it's aged seven years and it's barrel strength. And these come in real hot. I've had several different barrels of them. This one's 132.8 proof. Tasty. It's sweet. And it's really good, uh, especially getting a high proof, and it's seven years old, so it's it's starting to mellow in a good way, and I really like them. And they're not too pricey either. I, I think they're like 50 bucks for a uh, seven-year-old, really high-proof whiskey. It's worth the money, and I, I drink it quite often. Very different, very out. Like, if I think of an outdoor Z whiskey, that's Oh, it. yeah, dry fly, buddy. Fishing. It is. It's yeah, a, it's like the perfect blend for me right now because it's like the the it's like a dark, convulgence. rich black tea. Oh, that's a really good way to describe it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it, it's not. Uh, it doesn't taste like a weeded bourbon. It's definitely a no. wheat whiskey, and it does have a lot of those tea notes that are good. Um, this one is one that was introduced to us by our buddy Ty, and as you can see, I drink quite a bit of it. This is a Copper Sky Distillery out of. Uh, Colorado. It's delicious. This is a straight rye whiskey. It's 117.6 proof, and I've been having quite a lot of those. It reminds me a lot of our uh, shark repellent pick. It is an MGP whiskey uh, rye rye pick, but it was aged in Colorado, and so I'm a big fan of that one, and Copper Sky is a little bit newer brand to me. I hadn't had a lot of their products, but I was really uh, pleased by it, and I've been drinking it a lot. Nice. What's your last one, Will? This one is, uh, it's, it's not a shocker that I'm drinking a lot of this. I really like it, and it's good, and and you can get different varieties of it. Um, but this is uh, Jack Daniel's Single Barrel. This is one that I picked up at the at the uh, White Rabbit Saloon, uh, which is the bottle shop there on, on premise at 
uh, the Jack Daniels Distillery, but I have quite a few of them, whether it be from Fairview, whether it be from Turok. But the, the Jack Daniels Barrel Proof single barrel picks are just so good. Quality whiskey, always going to be a hitter for me. And so I'm drinking a lot of those. But they typically, kind of like the Dry Fly, do come in higher proofs yeah. than other cast drinks that you see. This one's actually a lower proof comparatively. It's 126.7. That is lower. Which is like, whoa, low proof. What'd you do, Jack Daniels? What'd I mean, it's a lot one? of 130s. Yeah. A lot of 130s. But I, and I have plenty of those as well. But I kind of like to cycle through the ones I have, almost like going to a library of Jack Daniels. I'm a big fan of it. So those are kind of the five I'm I'm drinking right now. To recap, I got Rittenhouse Bottled and Bond. I've got New Rift Single Barrel. I've got this Dry Fly Straight Wheat Whiskey Specialty Barrel. I've got the Copper Sky Distillery out of Colorado in their Rye Whiskey Single Barrel. And then Jack Daniels Single Barrel Barrel Proof. That's my five. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave your comments below about what five whiskeys you tend to be drinking right now. And also stay tuned because there's going to be a video of Grease sharing his kitchen cabinet picks coming up in the next day or so. Ooh, kitchen cabinet picks. That's a good way to say it. I like it. I love how we workshop that while we're doing the video. Live. Yeah, it's the way to do it. It's the way to do it. All right, thanks, folks. Subscribe to the channel. Give us a thumbs up. We appreciate you, and we'll see you on the next video.